Hello, hello, and welcome to Adobe Live this Friday afternoon. Thank you for joining me for this Adobe Express stream. And today we are going to be making our own schedule ready for Adobe Max, which is in not very long, the week after next. Um, so let's just see who we've got in the chat today. We've got Tony bringing all the jokes, Annika, hi Annika, Jack, Oliver, Tim, Sean, Jane, lovely to see you all. So nice to see familiar faces. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right in because I think we've got not that much time today. Um, 30 minute stream. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get started. So we're in Adobe Express. Just head to express.adobe.com if you want to work on this as we go um, or if you want to get to it later. And what I'm going to do is start with an A4 dimension um, for my schedule because potentially I'm going to print it out. So that is going to be my starting point. So what I'm gonna do is, yeah, create my schedule. So on this over here, I've got up the schedule, the sessions that are available. These are the sessions that are available for virtual Adobe Max. So you can sign up to the virtual event for free, which is incredible. And there's so many amazing talks um, that you can sign up for. There's also the in-person talks as well though. So if you're going in person, you can make the schedule, print it out and then just have it with you in your bag so that you can easily see what you've signed up for. Um, so yeah, so let's get started with our schedule. So I'm gonna start off by just adding a title. We're gonna divide it up into three columns, one for each of the days, and we're gonna have then our sort of boxes for our sessions on there. Um, so yeah, let me know in the chat if you are going to Adobe Max in person or if you have signed up for virtual Adobe Max. If you haven't, go and sign up now and then you can make yourself your schedule. So I'm gonna start off with uh, shapes, always a good place to start. And I'm just gonna make, get a shape to sort of use for my heading banner. I love that this orange is always the default color <laughs> for everything, but we'll change the colors in a minute. Um, so yeah, I always like to put everything at a bit of a jaunty angle. So we'll just put that at a little bit of <laughs> A jaunty ankle there. Um, ah, loving seeing everybody. There's lots of uh, there's lots of chat in the chat today. Um, okay, so let's add some text, and we'll put my Adobe Max schedule. We've got very autumnal colors going on here. So we'll just get that. Ooh. That's how I want it. Perfect. I actually think I'm going to go with this font that they've added as default, but you could change the font to whatever, <laughs> whatever you wanted. I don't think jaunty is a technical term. <laughs> no. <laughs> hi, Caroline. Nice to have you here. Ah, oh, hi, Barbara. Hi, Elizabeth. It is busy today. I love it. Right. Let's go and have a look at um, coming up with a bit of a color palette. So I just love that you can, um, yeah, get color palette suggestions. Let, oh, let's check out color pop. I think I want something quite nice and bright for this. Well, maybe, <laughs> maybe not that bright. Um, let's have a look. Actually, maybe what I'll do is get my background sorted first. So I'm going to make three columns, as I mentioned, um, so that we can sort of distinguish each day. And I'm just going to do this quickly by eye. Um, I'll just leave that color for now because we're going to sort out our colors in a minute. Oh, I've made those too thick. Let's just make this one a little bit thinner. I can't keep up with the chat today. <laughs> Lots of 
lots of people joining us, which is great. So yeah, let me know in the chat if you are going to Adobe Max in LA or if you're going to be tuning in virtually um, and if there's any talks that you are especially excited about. We'll go over and have a little look at some of them in a moment. So I'm just going to add any sort of color for now. And then we need to move these back. So I'm just going to reorder my layers over here, which is so handy. I love this sort of visual sort of stacking layer thing that it's got going on. Okay, so let me just drag this right down to the bottom. Oliver is joining virtually, assuming that he can still afford the electricity. I know, well, yeah, that is that is worry at the moment. Um, okay, so we're getting somewhere. Elizabeth's joining virtually, but I think it'd be fun to go in person. Yeah, definitely. So I'm going this year in person for the first time ever, and I am very excited. Um, it's going to be really fun, hopefully. And I've signed up for all the talks I want to go to. It's hard to decide, though, because there's so many. And so, um, yeah, I've had to be... I've had to choose, made some hard, I've had to make some hard choices, but I'm excited to go to Tony's session, who's joining us in the chat today. Um, okay, so I'm going to add a little title for each day. Um, I'm not thinking too much about the colours at the moment. This is very hard to read as it is, but we'll go in and change those in a second. So I'm just going to put my days up here. Beverly's headed to LA. Amazing. Come say hey, Beverly, if you see me. Um, right, let's get Wednesday in there. What session are you most excited for, Beverly? Right, and then we've got Thursday. So we've got the sort of bare bones of our schedule. We're going to add some boxes in a minute where we're going to put in what we're actually going to. But let's go back to colors and have a play around. Maybe I'm, I feel like for Adobe Max, it should be like rainbow colors, except I can't spell in classic live fashion. Um, let's have, oh, maybe something like this. Oh, wow. That's a lot of purple. Um, Beverly's really excited for the pre-conference. Oh, which pre-conference are you going to, for? And, ah, oh, Sean's hopefully going to be there. That'd be great to meet you, Sean. Um, okay. I'm just going to play around with a few different color options and find something that's nice and bright, but isn't going to destroy, destroy our retinas. Um, Give me a shout if you see a color palette that you think will be a good option. Oh, that's not what I expected to come. Oh, you can, we can click on the shuffle button, which is good. And then it sort of changes things up a bit. That's looking very autumnal. Choosing color palettes can be so hard. There's just so many options. Let's, I think I'm going to go with something like this maybe like that but I might just change the, the red color and the color of the text because it's a little bit yeah I want it to be a bit brighter um but I don't want the text that color oh Beverly's going to the Russell Brown pre-conference amazing Something with a little red. Yeah, I feel like it's got to have red in it, hasn't it? Because of um, because that's sort of the main Adobe Max color. So let's just get um, yeah. I think maybe I'm just gonna go for white for the text, just so that it's nice and easy for us to read. Uh, 
if bright colors aren't you, your thing, then you can make this nice and muted. Um, or if you don't want to have to print solid colors on your printer when you're printing out your schedule, then you can go for something that's more muted as well. Okay, so we've got the bare bones of our schedule. So what I'm gonna do is head over into shapes and get a square and I'm gonna make this white as well. And I'm gonna allow space for five sessions on each day just to, you know, try and um, pace ourselves, but you might be going to more so you can just sort of adjust the size and have more or less. Um, depending on what your plans are for the day. Um, and I'm just going to add them in like this. And then in a minute, we're going to add in sort of the text, like what's going on each, like for each of the sessions. So I'm just going to select all of these boxes and then handily the align button comes up. So I'm just going to align those move them down slightly and then I'm going to group them together and I'm going to copy and paste and then we'll have a column over on the Wednesday and a column over on the Thursday as well. Okay so let's head over and have a look at some of the sessions. So I'm going to head click on virtual because I know a lot of people in the chat are going virtually and we can have a little look um, at what's going on. I know that Annika, who's in the chat, has got a schedule which you should definitely sign up to. I'm looking forward to going to this one by Mr. Bingo. Um, I mean, yeah, there's so, um, there's so many amazing ones. You could absolutely jam pack your day Let's see if we can find, here's Annika's, build and improve your design workflows in InDesign. So let's copy and paste that. And we'll put that in as uh, one of our sessions. So let's add some text. Ooh. I'm gonna take that down to 12. and change the color to the red. And we'll just bring that into here. Hang on, let's check what day it's on. So it's on the Tuesday. We'll put it in BST time because that's where I am right now. Um, so it's gonna be right down here. It's gonna be our last session probably of the day. So if you haven't yet, definitely go and sign up for this session. I'm just going to nudge this down so that I can fit it in. And then what we're going to do is put the name of the person and the time. And so then the idea is that you can fill this all in and you've just got everything nice and easy for you to see at a glance what you've got going on on each day. So let's go and get her name. Let's see if it's going to let me, oh, it's not going to let me, I'll just write it in. Hopefully I've spent, I don't think I have spelt that wrong. Uh, right, hang on. I've added in an extra H because obviously I've got to, you know, always spell something wrong. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to get another color from my palette, get that all lined up. <laughs> Who's a AL615 is a weird session, wouldn't recommend it. Oh, now we're gonna have to go and have a look <laughs> and see who it is. Um, is it me? No, I don't think that was the code for mine. Look, here's mine. S810, so you can sign up to my one as well, building consistent branding in Adobe Express. Um, okay, what do we need? The time. So let's just get the time and put it in whatever time zone you're in. And then I'm going to put that in maybe the green. Oh, actually, that's a bit hard to read. Let's put in this color. Okay, so let's just get this lined up. 
and looking nice. And I'm going to make it so we go maybe have it so that it's not bold for this one. Okay. It's Tim's session. Is it? Tim, have you got a session? I didn't know that. I need to go and sign up. Um, let's go and get some more sessions. So once you've sort of worked out, you've got your um, kind of like design for how your titles and your put name are going to look then we can just copy and paste that put it into some of the other boxes and start filling things in if you want it as well you could just print it out blank and you could write it in if that's more your style um okay let's go find tim session let's see if i've spelled your name <gasps> here we go al615 perfect okay so this one's on wednesday perfect so we'll get this one in there and then i'm gonna go and sign up for this one later um okay Lots of chat about what uh, Tim is an expert in, in the chat. So you'll need to go and sign up for his session to find out what he's an expert at. <laughs> Video, I'm guessing. <laughs> okay, let's go find out what the time is. Ooh. Amazing. Okay, so let's see if we can find something for Thursday. So we'll clear that. Go back to looking for virtual. We've got something from Paul Trani, who you'll see on Adobe Live a lot. There's so many, so many ones to check out. Um, let's put this one in. I don't think this is this is on the this is on the Wednesday. So let's add, let's group this together. So you can see it's starting to look really nice and neat and it'll be easy then just at a glance to see what you've going on, got going on each day and what you've signed up for. Um, and then what we're gonna do in a minute is we are going to turn this into a template. Um, and I'm going to show you how you can share that with people. So say you're going with a bunch of friends and you want to share a template for your schedule or anything like that, then you can do that. But also I'll share this schedule with you in case you want to use it yourself. Okay. Right. I hear Mr. Bingo is a bit of a posse mouth. Yes, I think that is true. So something to know if you're going to his session. Um, like, let me know in the chat um, any other sessions that you're excited for. Oh, Claudie's brilliant. Let's put hers in. Hers are on Wednesday as well. Let's, find, let's keep going and find one for Thursday. Hi, Penny. Great to see you. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one as well. Build your own personal brand with Color Me Courtney. Um, I'll tell you what, let's find Tony's sessions, which are in person rather than live. But I know he's got one on Thursday. So let's go have a look. Here we go. to copy this over first i'm going to one of tony's sessions so i'm really looking forward to getting to learn in person instead of virtually so we'll just move this over here we'll 
This is going to ruin my design now because it's got a long title. <laughs> Oh, there's a session with Joe Allen as well. Amazing. You can also filter by day on the left. Oh, thanks, Tim. That would have definitely been the way to go. <laughs> that would have made things a lot quicker. Okay, so... There we go, it's all coming together. So this is what our schedule is looking like. So we've started to put things in and then obviously you would fill all of these in for every day. Um, <laughs> yeah, Tony is trying to max out on the character limit. You gotta get it all in there though. Um, perfect, okay. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to make this into a template. So. When you've got it how you want it, you click on share and then you go make template and it's super, super easy. And then we are gonna go um, Adobe Max schedule. And then what's nice is that say you were like doing this for work or in your business, um, then you can um, write a little note about how you might want them to use this template. So, um, fill in your schedule to keep handy for Adobe Max. I mean, pretty self-explanatory. You can then save it to a library. So I've created an Adobe Max library because um, that means that we're then going to be able to share it. So I'm just going to click Save Template. And then what I'm going to do is head over to the home page and I'm going to go into libraries here and you'll see here is my Adobe Max library. And what I'm going to do then is click on these three dots here and click share and you can invite individual people. So say you are working in a team and you want to just send them an email, invite them, but I'm going to make this a public link. So it's generating my link and I'm going to copy the link and then hopefully this is going to work. I am going to share it with Tim and then Tim can put it in the chat. And then if you want to, you guys can all use this schedule. Um, and uh, well, yeah, you can use this schedule. You can adjust it, change the colors, make it your own. Um, and yeah. So you'll see then when you click on it, you are creating a new project from your template. So you can go in and adjust it. So let's just, you know what I am gonna do is just, I'm gonna add a few little design assets up here um, because, you know, I wanna add some stars and you can sort of, you can customize yours, change the colors and all of that jazz as well. Um, so let's just add some sparkly stars because I forgot to do that earlier. But I think it'll look nice. And yeah, hopefully I'll get to meet some of you in person in LA. And if you're not going in person, I really hope that you enjoy the virtual conference, which is going to be brilliant. So many amazing talks to sign up to great and if you want to sign up for mine as well you can tim shared the session code is s810 um you can go and find it and since you join me on these streams it'll be stuff that you're familiar with how to yeah create consistent branding using adobe express so thanks so much for joining me um for this stream and next week we are going to be creating some social media graphics for you to share what you have learned at adobe max um and you'll be able to use those then on the go while you are at the conference um so i will see you next week if you want to stick around up next is paul trani and he is looking at how to use text in illustrator and then there's more live streams throughout the afternoon and for the rest of the day great see you soon